What is going on, LEGO Investor? So today we're going to talk about a set that I really, really like, and it's coming from a theme that really isn't like. The previous set before this, people did not like this set. They do not like it. And it really has been a bad, bad set. Not just lit for LEGO Investors, just for personal buying. People just have not been buying the set. It is a little bit expensive, but I absolutely love this set. I've said in my videos that regardless of all the hate that this set gets, I truly do love this set and I think it might do very, very well in retirement. So seeing this new set come out reinforces the current set that's already out and I'm going to make a dedicated video on that, but we're going to talk about the newer set. So I'll give my thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Please comment down below. It definitely will help the channel and will help the community. But let's dive into it. Today we're going to talk about Bumblebee. Transformers. I love Transformers. Transformers are just I grew up with Transformers. There's awesome show, awesome movies. And this is item number 10338 and it has 950 pieces and retails for $89.99. So it's a little bit expensive in my book, but it is nice to see it's cheaper than the current set that's already out, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is the set that is hated. You might like this set, but overall a lot of people just hate the build of the current Optimus Prime. And I'm not sure whether it's the pricing or the retirement date but this set the optimus prime set has not been selling so i think this is this set is going to help optimus prime and this tells me we're going to get a lot more transformers in the future i think lego made a big mistake not releasing this earlier with especially with optimus prime they should have retired optimus prime after two years and then introduced this one at the end it would have been great but I hope they do that with the future set. So does he look like Bumblebee? Yes. Although I am not happy with the car form. I think the car form, they made a big, big mistake. I, th I think it's just ugly. I think they should have probably made it a little bit bigger. But it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a, a British car from the back. I, I just am not a big fan of the car form. I think they could have done a better job. I probably think they could have up the price a little bit and made it a little bit better but in a standing form i think he looks awesome so let's go over optimus prime a little bit so we can kind of see what we're working with and what you're and what you're dealing with if you were to invest in the set now obviously it isn't out yet it comes out july 4th 2024 but we need to make these videos and i want to hear your opinions on it not that we shouldn't be making videos but i want to see if two years down the line if this is something you'll invest in. I truly hope that investors are reading comments and seeing other people's opinions. That's why I make these videos to try and build a community and see how other people are investing because I that helps me out and I hope it helps other people. So Optimus Prime right now is $143. So the sale price has become the new price. So don't pay retail for this. Check out Target, Amazon. They offer a lot lower pricing than you know typically the Lego store. But Optimus Prime retails for $179. So a little bit expensive, but I, I think just the build of Optimus looks amazing. So now why people hate this set and the complaints that we've received is the legs. The legs are kind of difficult to work with. They're not really flexible and that just turned a lot of people off. Regardless of, of those issues and the build, I think the display factor is absolutely amazing. I think he looks like Optimus Prime. I think they knocked it out of the park with this set. I think this is going to be a set that a lot of people regret passing up. And I think it's going to go down how the the Voltron set did. So when Voltron came out, a lot of people just passed it up, didn't really care for it. But now I kind of want to say Voltron is like a Holy Grail set. You know, not not an insane Holy Grail, but a lot of people want Voltron and is extremely popular. And I think Optimus Prime is going to follow the same way. So Optimus has been out, let's see, since June 2022. So we're, we're two years already and we don't really have a retirement date. You know, he might retire 2025, and there is a potential that Optimus could retire at the end of 2024. That might happen. Lego will change retirement dates all the times on sets just to throw off investors. And if he did retire at the end of 2024, that would be awesome, although I would probably miss out on getting him, in all honesty. But if he did retire at the end of 2025, do I think he's going to do really, really well? I think he'll do well, just not really, really well. I think Optimus is going to be a long, long hold. I think there might be potential we could hit 250 to 300, you know, maybe five or six years down the line. 
it's going to be a very long hold in my eyes. But having Optimus out and then Bumblebee reinforces this and this gives me faith in Bumblebee because Bumblebee is at a decent price, 90 bucks. I'm not going to buy, I, I will not pay 90 bucks for Bumblebee. I will pay probably 60 bucks. I think that was a fair price for Bumblebee. I think that's what he should have been at. So if I could pick it up, hey, even 50, 60 bucks, I'll be happy. I could maybe see it if we had a two year shelf life on Bumblebee, maybe you know, sell them around 120, 150. I, I would be happy with those profits. So really quick, because I mentioned Voltron, just kind of see how he's doing right now. Voltron was 180, again, similar to Optimus Prime. And it has a value of uh, $353.41. So growth of 96.35%. That is really, really awesome. Now, do I think Optimus Prime or Bumblebee will do like Voltron? No, I, I don't. I But I think there's just going to be healthy profits for Bumblebee. And probably even better profits than Optimus Prime. But it all comes down to the retirement date. If we're looking at three... If we're looking at four years for Bumblebee, I don't see really any profits. But two years... Yeah, there's going to be profits on the table. Might be a little bit popular. But really quick, let's take a look at how Optimus Prime is doing on Amazon, uh, eBay right now. So we're doing, you know, less than 135 here. 98, 125, 137, 128, 119. So you have to watch Optimus Prime because that will help you determine whether Bumblebee will be good in the future. Let's say when Optimus Prime retires and he's still pulling in 120, then Bumblebee is going to struggle. In all honesty... Bumblebee will struggle to sell if Optimus Prime does not go up in price. But I do believe with if you hold it for a very long time, there is popularity in Transformers. So let's take a look at some previous kind of vintage Transformer toys. The market for Transformer toys, vintage ones, are big. And this is the first time we're getting, you know, this is the first time we've gotten a Transformer Lego set with Optimus Prime. Now Bumblebee these are the first ones. So I think these are going to be the hitters. And then, hey, if they remake them in the future, probably the Camaro version, those might do decent. But these are the ones that I'm really, really going to focus on because the first ones typically do the best. And I think it will kind of be like the vintage G1 Transformers. Obviously, they're not going to do insane numbers like this. But this tells me that the demand is there. People are paying you know, eight hundred and ten dollars, three hundred and eighty for this little nineteen eighty six transformer, which is insane. A thousand seventy, a thousand twenty five, four sixty, five eighty eight for Optimus Prime. So this just really reinforces my thoughts for Bumblebee that Bumblebee will do well in retirement, but it might just take a very, very long time. And it might be so long that I might have to pass and it really depends on sales. This is a sale set for me. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Will you be investing in Bumblebee? Does it depend on the pricing? You know, clearance? Is this a clearance set for you? Will you wait? You know, if if it's a two, two year shelf life, is that good for you or is three too long? I want to hear this info from you. But I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day. But as always, please do your own research. Have some fun. Make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.